Okay guys, on June 28, 2023. Now you can see that this is my plant of Echinocereus pentalophus. It is also called as the ladyfinger cactus. Now we just want to propagate it from the stem cutting. So we have to select a few stems. So now I have taken my pruner. Okay, so first of all, I have to use my forcep and I will cut it down with the help of my pruner. Now you can see that I have cut out my first stem. Now we will go and we will select our next cutting and this is our next cutting. Now we have to keep them in shade for several days. Why it is so? Because so that they will heal out. And I have taken my third cutting as well. Okay, and now this is the wound. This is the wound, and uh, they take some time for healing. So we have to wait out for that. Okay, on July 2, 2023. I am doing the voice tubbing over the video so that you will not see any change of okay any change in voice quality and like amplitude so now I have taken my media and all of my cuttings are now careless tower they are totally healed now I have taken two of the pots and they are actually the pet bottle based pots these pet bottles have around five holes i have made around five holes and multiple small holes on all of the sides why it is so because i want a very good drainage of the soil now you can see that our our wood has been healed and there is a thin layer of callus and now we can plant them with with no fear okay now i am putting my media inside the pots Okay, now this is my part and one more thing that you should have to should have to age 50% sand and 50% simple garden soil and mix them well why it is so because uh, sand is very useful for the well draining of the soil now you can see that how much water how the water is going to the bottom why it is so because it contains sand and sand is very good for drainage now you can see that water is just uh, seeping in and now it will come outside uh, come out of the plant now you can see properly that how okay now wait let me let me make a hole let me make a hole and i will put this uh, cactus cutting into that okay now this is my first cutting okay now we have to keep it in shade for about for about one week I am inserting my second cutting in the pot okay now place it like this and first uh, only give water when you will uh, like uh, see that the above surface is totally dry the above layer of the media is totally dried then you can give water if you will give a lot of water it can cause certain fungal rot okay so it is not always good to okay but but it is good that if if the media remains a little bit moist it is good okay so let's keep it in shade okay on 28 of august 2023 now a lot of days has been passed i have put uh, two of the takes two of the takes in my 
in my pot so that I can not mix these in uh, with uh, all other plants okay now you can see that this is my first stem cutting and this is my second stem cutting and now we have seen a lot a lot of progress on the rooting side now you can see that we have a lot a lot of progress on the rooting side as well as on uh, we, we can see a little a little baby on one of these stem cutting as well so hopefully you got the concept that how you can grow or propagate a lady finger cactus with the help of stem cuttings so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe